Most of the terms listed in Wikipedia glossaries are already defined and explained within Wikipedia itself. However, glossaries like this one are useful for looking up, comparing and reviewing large numbers of terms together. You can help enhance this page by adding new terms or writing definitions for existing ones. This glossary of calculus is a list of definitions about calculus, its sub-disciplines, and related fields. Topic A. Abel's test, a method of testing for the convergence of an infinite series. Absolute convergence. An infinite series of numbers is said to converge absolutely or to be absolutely convergent if the sum of the absolute values of the summons is finite. More precisely, a real or complex series n equals 0 infinity a n display style text style sum underscore n equals 0 caret n a t a underscore n is said to converge absolutely if n equals 0 infinity a n equals l Display style text style sum underscore n equals zero caret n a t left a underscore n right equals l. For some real number l. Display style text style l. Similarly, an improper integral of a function zero infinity f x d x Display style text style int underscore zero caret n a t f x d x is said to converge absolutely if the integral of the absolute value of the integrand is finite. That is, if zero infinity f x d x equals l. Display style text style int underscore zero caret n a t left f x right d x equals l absolute maximum absolute minimum absolute value the absolute value or modulus x of a real number x is the non-negative value of x without regard to its sign, namely x. Topic x for a positive x, x minus x for a negative x in which case minus x is positive, and 0, equals 0. For example, the absolute value of 3 is 3, and the absolute value of minus 3 is also 3. The absolute value of a number may be thought of as its distance from 0. Alternating series an infinite series whose terms alternate between positive and negative. Alternating series test is the method used to prove that an alternating series with terms that decrease in absolute value is a convergent series. The test was used by Gottfried Leibniz and is sometimes known as Leibniz's test, Leibniz's rule, or the Leibniz criterion. Annulus a ring-shaped object, a region bounded by two concentric circles. Antiderivative An antiderivative, primitive function, primitive integral or indefinite integral of a function f is a differentiable function f whose derivative is equal to the original function f. This can be stated symbolically as f, f equals f display style f equals f the process of solving for antiderivatives is called antidifferentiation or indefinite integration and its opposite operation is called differentiation, which is the process of finding a derivative. Arcsine Area under a curve Asymptote In analytic geometry, an asymptote of a curve is a line such that the distance between the curve and the line approaches zero as one or both of the x or y coordinates tends to infinity. 
Some sources include the requirement that the curve may not cross the line infinitely often, but this is unusual for modern authors. In projective geometry and related contexts, an asymptote of a curve is a line which is tangent to the curve at a point at infinity. Automatic differentiation In mathematics and computer algebra, automatic differentiation AD, also called algorithmic differentiation or computational differentiation, is a set of techniques to numerically evaluate the derivative of a function specified by a computer program. AD exploits the fact that every computer program, no matter how complicated, executes a sequence of elementary arithmetic operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. and elementary functions exp, log, sin, cos, etc. By applying the chain rule repeatedly to these operations, derivatives of arbitrary order can be computed automatically, accurately to working precision, and using at most a small constant factor more arithmetic operations than the original program. Average rate of change Topic B Binomial coefficient any of the positive integers that occurs as a coefficient in the binomial theorem is a binomial coefficient. Commonly, a binomial coefficient is indexed by a pair of integers n k 0 and is written n k It is the coefficient of the x k term in the polynomial expansion of the binomial power 1 plus x n, and it is given by the formula n k equals n k n minus k display style binom n k equals frac n k n k binomial theorem or binomial expansion describes the algebraic expansion of powers of a binomial bounded function a function f defined on some set x with real or complex values is called bounded, if the set of its values is bounded. In other words, there exists a real number m such that f x m for all x in x a function that is not bounded is said to be unbounded. Sometimes, if f x a for all x in x, then the function is said to be bounded above by a. On the other hand, if f x b for all x in x, then the function is said to be bounded below by b. Bounded sequence. Topic C. Calculus. From Latin calculus, literally small pebble, used for counting and calculations, as on an abacus is the mathematical study of continuous change, in the same way that geometry is the study of shape and algebra is the study of generalizations of arithmetic operations. Cavallari's Principle in geometry, Cavallari's principle, a modern implementation of the method of indivisibles, named after Bonaventura Cavallari, is as follows. Two-dimensional case, suppose two regions in a plane are included between two parallel lines in that plane. If every line parallel to these two lines intersects both regions in line segments of equal length, then the two regions have equal areas. Three-dimensional case, suppose two regions in three space solids are included between two parallel planes. If every plane parallel to these two planes intersects both regions in cross-sections of equal area, then the two regions have equal volumes. Chain rule The chain rule is a formula for computing the derivative of the composition of two or more functions. That is, if f and g are functions, then the chain rule expresses the derivative of their composition f g, the function which maps x to f g x in terms of the derivatives of f and g and the product of functions as follows. f g equals f g g display style f circ g equals f circ g c d o t g 
this may equivalently be expressed in terms of the variable. Let f topic f g or equivalently f x f g x for all x. Then one can also write f x equals f g x g x display style f x equals f g x g x the chain rule may be written in leibniz's notation in the following way if a variable z depends on the variable y which itself depends on the variable x so that y and z are therefore dependent variables then z via the intermediate variable of y depends on x as well the chain rule then states d z d x equals d z d y d y d x display style frac dz dx equals frac dz die c dot frac die dx the two versions of the chain rule are related if z equals f y display style z equals f y and y equals g x display style y equals g x then d z d x equals d z d y d y d x equals f y g x equals f g x g x Display style FRAC DZ DX equals FRAC DZ die C D O T FRAC die DX equals F Y G X equals F G X G X In integration, the counterpart to the chain rule is the substitution rule. Change of variables is a basic technique used to simplify problems in which the original variables are replaced with functions of other variables. The intent is that when expressed in new variables, the problem may become simpler, or equivalent to a better understood problem. Cofunction a function f is cofunction of a function g if f a equals g b whenever a and b are complementary angles. This definition typically applies to trigonometric functions. The prefix co can be found already in Edmund Gunter's Canon Triangulorum, 1620. Concave function is the negative of a convex function. A concave function is also synonymously called concave downwards, concave down, convex upwards, convex cap or upper convex. Constant of integration the indefinite integral of a given function i.e., the set of all antiderivatives of the function on a connected domain is only defined up to an additive constant, the constant of integration. This constant expresses an ambiguity inherent in the construction of antiderivatives. If a function f x is defined on an interval and f x Display style f x is an antiderivative of f x. Display style f x. Then the set of all antiderivatives of f x. Display style f x is given by the functions f x plus c. Display style f x plus c where c is an arbitrary constant meaning that any value for c makes f x plus 
C display style f x plus C a valid antiderivative. The constant of integration is sometimes omitted in lists of integrals for simplicity. Continuous function is a function for which sufficiently small changes in the input result in arbitrarily small changes in the output. Otherwise, a function is said to be a discontinuous function. A continuous function with a continuous inverse function is called a homeomorphism. Continuously differentiable A function f is said to be continuously differentiable if the derivative f x exists and is itself a continuous function. Contour integration In the mathematical field of complex analysis, contour integration is a method of evaluating certain integrals along paths in the complex plane. Convergence tests are methods of testing for the convergence, conditional convergence, absolute convergence, interval of convergence or divergence of an infinite series. N equals 1 infinity a n display style sum underscore n equals 1 caret n a t a underscore n convergent series in mathematics a series is the sum of the terms of an infinite sequence of numbers given an infinite sequence a 1 a 2 a 3 Display style left a underscore one a underscore two a underscore three dots right. The nth partial sum s n display style s underscore n is the sum of the first n terms of the sequence. That is, s n equals k equals one n a k display style s underscore n equals sum underscore k equals one caret n a underscore k. A series is convergent if the sequence of its partial sums s one s two s three display style left s underscore 1 s underscore 2 s underscore 3 dots right tends to a limit that means that the partial sums become closer and closer to a given number when the number of their terms increases more precisely a series converges if there exists a number display style L such that for any arbitrarily small positive number epsilon Display style var epsilon. There is a sufficiently large integer n. Display style n. Such that for all n n. Display style n g e q n s n minus epsilon. Display style left s underscore n l right vert l e q var epsilon. If the series is convergent, the number display style l necessarily unique is called the sum of the series. Any series that is not convergent is said to be divergent. Convex function in mathematics, a real-valued function defined on an n-dimensional interval is called convex or convex downward or concave upward if the line segment between any two points on the graph of the function lies above or on the graph, in a Euclidean space or more generally a vector space of at least two dimensions. Equivalently, a function is convex if its epigraph, the set of points on or above the graph of the function, is a convex set. For a twice differentiable function of a single variable, if the second derivative is always greater than or equal to zero for its entire domain then the function is convex. Well-known examples of convex functions include the quadratic function x 2 and the exponential function e x Kramer's rule 
In linear algebra, Kramer's rule is an explicit formula for the solution of a system of linear equations with as many equations as unknowns, valid whenever the system has a unique solution. It expresses the solution in terms of the determinants of the square coefficient matrix and of matrices obtained from it by replacing one column by the column vector of right-hand sides of the equations. It is named after Gabriel Kramer (1704–1752), who published the rule for an arbitrary number of unknowns in 1750. Although Colin Maclaurin also published special cases of the rule in 1748 and possibly knew of it as early as 1729. Critical point. A critical point or stationary point of a differentiable function of a real or complex variable is any value in its domain where its derivative is zero. Curve A curve also called a curved line in older texts is, generally speaking, an object similar to a line but that need not be straight. Curve sketching in geometry, curve sketching or curve tracing includes techniques that can be used to produce a rough idea of overall shape of a plane curve given its equation without computing the large numbers of points required for a detailed plot. It is an application of the theory of curves to find their main features. Here input is an equation. In digital geometry it is a method of drawing a curve pixel by pixel. Here input is an array digital image. Topic D. Damped sine wave is a sinusoidal function whose amplitude approaches zero as time increases. Degree of a polynomial is the highest degree of its monomials individual terms with non-zero coefficients. The degree of a term is the sum of the exponents of the variables that appear in it, and thus is a non-negative integer. Derivative The derivative of a function of a real variable measures the sensitivity to change of the function value, output value with respect to a change in its argument input value. Derivatives are a fundamental tool of calculus. For example, the derivative of the position of a moving object with respect to time is the object's velocity, this measures how quickly the position of the object changes when time advances. Derivative test A derivative test uses the derivatives of a function to locate the critical points of a function and determine whether each point is a local maximum, a local minimum, or a saddle point. Derivative tests can also give information about the concavity of a function. Differentiable function A differentiable function of one real variable is a function whose derivative exists at each point in its domain. As a result, the graph of a differentiable function must have a non-vertical tangent line at each point in its domain, be relatively smooth, and cannot contain any breaks, bends, or cusps. Differential infinitesimal. The term differential is used in calculus to refer to an infinitesimal infinitely small change in some varying quantity. For example, if x is a variable, then a change in the value of x is often denoted delta x pronounced delta x. The differential dx represents an infinitely small change in the variable x. The idea of an infinitely small or infinitely slow change is extremely useful intuitively, and there are a number of ways to make the notion mathematically precise. Using calculus, it is possible to relate the infinitely small changes of various variables to each other mathematically using derivatives. If y is a function of x, then the differential die of y is related to dx by the formula d y equals d y d x d x display style die equals frac die dx dx where die dx denotes the derivative of y with respect to x this formula summarizes the intuitive idea that the derivative of y with respect to x is the limit of the ratio of differences delta y, delta x as delta x becomes infinitesimal. Differential calculus 
is a subfield of calculus concerned with the study of the rates at which quantities change. It is one of the two traditional divisions of calculus, the other being integral calculus, the study of the area beneath a curve. Differential equation is a mathematical equation that relates some function with its derivatives. In applications, the functions usually represent physical quantities, the derivatives represent their rates of change, and the equation defines a relationship between the two. Differential operator Differential of a function In calculus, the differential represents the principal part of the change in a function y equals f x with respect to changes in the independent variable. The differential die is defined by d y equals f x d x display style die equals f x d x where f x display style f x is the derivative of f with respect to x and dx as an additional real variable so that die is a function of x and dx the notation is such that the equation d y equals d y d x d x display style die equals frac die dx dx holds where the derivative is represented in the Leibniz notation di dx and this is consistent with regarding the derivative as the quotient of the differentials one also writes d f x equals f x d x display style df x equals f x dx the precise meaning of the variables di and dx depends on the context of the application and the required level of mathematical rigor. The domain of these variables may take on a particular geometrical significance if the differential is regarded as a particular differential form, or analytical significance if the differential is regarded as a linear approximation to the increment of a function. Traditionally, the variables dx and di are considered to be very small, infinitesimal, and this interpretation is made rigorous in non-standard analysis. Differentiation rules. Direct comparison test. A convergence test in which an infinite series or an improper integral is compared to one with known convergence properties. Dirichlet's test is a method of testing for the convergence of a series. It is named after its author Peter Gustave Lejeune Dirichlet, and was published posthumously in the Journal de Mathématiques Pures et Appliquées in 1862. The test states that if a n display style a underscore n is a sequence of real numbers and b n display style b underscore n a sequence of complex numbers satisfying a n plus 1 a n display style a underscore n plus 1 leq a underscore n lim n infinity a n equals 0 Display style lim underscore n right arrow n f t o underscore n equals zero n equals one n b n m display style left sum underscore n equals one caret n b underscore n right l e q m for every positive integer n where m is some constant, then the series n equals 1 infinity a n b n display style sum underscore n equals 1 caret n a t a underscore n b underscore n converges. Disk integration 
also known in integral calculus as the disk method, is a means of calculating the volume of a solid of revolution of a solid state material when integrating along an axis parallel to the axis of revolution. Divergent series is an infinite series that is not convergent, meaning that the infinite sequence of the partial sums of the series does not have a finite limit. Discontinuity Continuous functions are of utmost importance in mathematics, functions and applications. However, not all functions are continuous. If a function is not continuous at a point in its domain, one says that it has a discontinuity there. The set of all points of discontinuity of a function may be a discrete set, a dense set, or even the entire domain of the function. Dot product In mathematics, the dot product or scalar product is an algebraic operation that takes two equal length sequences of numbers usually coordinate vectors and returns a single number. In Euclidean geometry, the dot product of the Cartesian coordinates of two vectors is widely used and often called the inner product or rarely projection product of Euclidean space even though it is not the only inner product that can be defined on Euclidean space, see also inner product space. Double integral the multiple integral is a definite integral of a function of more than one real variable, for example, f x, y or f x, y, z. Integrals of a function of two variables over a region in R2 are called double integrals, and integrals of a function of three variables over a region of R3 are called triple integrals. Topic e. E mathematical constant. The number E is a mathematical constant that is the base of the natural logarithm, the unique number whose natural logarithm is equal to 1. It is approximately equal to 2.71828, and is the limit of 1 plus 1, n, n as n approaches infinity, an expression that arises in the study of compound interest. It can also be calculated as the sum of the infinite series. E equals n equals 0 infinity 1 n equals 1 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 1 2 plus 1 1 2 3 plus display style e equals display style sum limits underscore n equals 0 caret n a t d f r a c 1 n equals f r a c 1 1 plus f r a c 1 1 plus f r a c 1 1 c d o t 2 plus f r a c 1 1 c d o t 2 c d o t 3 plus c d o t s Elliptic integral In integral calculus, elliptic integrals originally arose in connection with the problem of giving the arc length of an ellipse. They were first studied by Giulio Fagnano and Leonard Euler c. 1750. Modern mathematics defines an elliptic integral as any function f which can be expressed in the form f x equals c x r t p t d t display style f x equals int underscore c caret x r left t s q r t p t right d t where r is a rational function of its two arguments, p is a polynomial of degree three or four with no repeated roots, and c is a constant. Essential discontinuity For an essential discontinuity, only one of the two one-sided limits needs not exist or be infinite. 
Consider the function f x equals sin 5x minus 1 for x 1 0 for x equals 1 1 x minus 1 for x greater than 1. Display style f x equals begin cases sin frac 5 x 1 and m box for x 1 end cases. Then the point x 0 equals 1. Display style script style x underscore 0 equals 1 is an essential discontinuity. In this case. L minus display style script style L caret doesn't exist and L plus display style script style L caret plus is infinite, thus satisfying twice the conditions of essential discontinuity. So x zero is an essential discontinuity, infinite discontinuity, or discontinuity of the second kind. This is distinct from the term essential singularity which is often used when studying functions of complex variables. Euler method Euler's method is a numerical method to solve first-order first-degree differential equation with a given initial value. It is the most basic explicit method for numerical integration of ordinary differential equations and is the simplest runge kutta method. The Euler method is named after Leonard Euler, who treated it in his book Institutionum Calculi Integralis published 1768-1870. Exponential function In mathematics, an exponential function is a function of the form where b is a positive real number, and in which the argument x occurs as an exponent. For real numbers c and d, a function of the form f x equals a b c x plus d display style f x equals ab caret c x plus d is also an exponential function as it can be rewritten as a b c x plus d equals a B D B C X Display style ab carrot C X plus D equals left ab carrot D right left B carrot C right carrot X extreme value theorem states that if a real valued function f is continuous on the closed interval A, B, then F must attain a maximum and a minimum, each at least once. That is, there exist numbers c and d in a, b such that f c f x f d for all x element of a, b. Display style f c g e q f x g e q f d quad text for all x in a, b. A related theorem is the boundedness theorem, which states that a continuous function f in the closed interval a, b is bounded on that interval. That is, there exist real numbers m and m such that m f x m for all x element of a b. Display style m. The extreme value theorem enriches the boundedness theorem by saying that not only is the function bounded, but it also attains its least upper bound as its maximum and its greatest lower bound as its minimum. Extremum in mathematical analysis, the maxima and minima, the respective plurals of maximum and minimum of a function, known collectively as extrema, the plural of extremum, are the largest and smallest value of the function, either within a given range, the local or relative extrema, or on the entire domain of a function, the global or absolute extrema. Pierre de Fermat was one of the first mathematicians to propose a general technique, adequality, for finding the maxima and minima of functions. As defined in set theory, the maximum and minimum of a set are the greatest and least elements in the set, respectively. Unbounded infinite sets, such as the set of real numbers, have no minimum or maximum. Topic. F. Fa di Bruno's formula is an identity in mathematics generalizing the chain rule to higher derivatives, named after Francesco Fa di Bruno (1855–1857), though he was not the first to state or prove the formula. 
In 1800, more than 50 years before Fa D. Bruno, the French mathematician Louis Francois Antoine Arbogast stated the formula in a calculus textbook, considered the first published reference on the subject. Perhaps the most well known form of Fa D. Bruno's formula says that D N D X N F G X equals N M one one M one M two two M two M N N M N F M one plus plus M N G X J equals one N G J X M J Display style D carrot N over D X carrot N F G X equals sum F R A C N M underscore one one carrot M underscore one M underscore two two carrot M underscore two C D O T S M underscore N N carrot M underscore N C D O T F carrot M underscore one plus C D O T S plus M underscore N G X C D O T prod underscore j equals 1 carrot n left g carrot j x right carrot m underscore j where the sum is over all n tuples of non-negative integers m1 minnesota satisfying the constraint 1 m 1 plus 2 m 2 plus 3 m 3 plus plus n m n equals n Display style one C D O T M underscore one plus two C D O T M underscore two plus three C D O T M underscore three plus C D O T S plus N C D O T M underscore N equals N Sometimes, to give it a memorable pattern, it is written in a way in which the coefficients that have the combinatorial interpretation discussed below are less explicit. D N D X N F G X equals N M 1 M 2 M N F M one plus plus M N G X J equals one N G J X J M J Display style D carrot N over DX carrot N F G X equals sum F R A C N M underscore one M underscore two C D O T S M underscore N C D O T F carrot M underscore one plus C D O T S plus M underscore N G X C D O T prod underscore J equals one carrot N left F R A C G carrot J X J right Carrot M underscore J. Combining the terms with the same value of M one plus M two plus plus Minnesota equals K, and noticing that M J has to be zero for J greater than N minus K plus one leads to a somewhat simpler formula expressed in terms of Bell polynomials B N K X one X N minus K plus one D N D X N F G 
x equals k equals 1 n f k g x b n k g x g x g n minus k plus 1 x Display style D carrot N over DX carrot N F G X equals sum underscore K equals one carrot N F carrot K G X C D O T B underscore N K left G X G X dots G carrot N K plus one X right First degree polynomial First derivative test the first derivative test examines a function's monotonic properties where the function is increasing or decreasing focusing on a particular point in its domain. If the function switches from increasing to decreasing at the point, then the function will achieve a highest value at that point. Similarly, if the function switches from decreasing to increasing at the point, then it will achieve a least value at that point. If the function fails to switch and remains increasing or remains decreasing, then no highest or least value is achieved. Fractional calculus is a branch of mathematical analysis that studies the several different possibilities of defining real number powers or complex number powers of the differentiation operator d d f x equals D D X F X display style D F X equals D F R A C D D X F X and of the integration operator J J F X equals zero X F S D S Display style J F X equals in underscore zero carrot X F S D S and developing a calculus for such operators generalizing the classical one. In this context, the term powers refers to iterative application of a linear operator to a function, in some analogy to function composition acting on a variable, i.e. F two X. Topic FFX FFX Frustum In geometry, a frustum plural, frusta or frustums is the portion of a solid normally a cone or pyramid that lies between one or two parallel planes cutting it. A right frustum is a parallel truncation of a right pyramid or right cone. Function is a process or a relation that associates each element x of a set x, the domain of the function, to a single element y of another set y, possibly the same set, the codomain of the function. If the function is called f, this relation is denoted y equals f x read f of x, the element x is the argument or input of the function, and y is the value of the function, the output, or the image of x by f. The symbol that is used for representing the input is the variable of the function one often says that f is a function of the variable x. Function composition is an operation that takes two functions f and g and produces a function h such that h x equals g f x. In this operation, the function g is applied to the result of applying the function f to x. That is, the functions f, x, y and g, y, z are composed to yield a function that maps x in x to g, f, x in z. Fundamental theorem of calculus The fundamental theorem of calculus is a theorem that links the concept of differentiating a function with the concept of integrating a function. The first part of the theorem, sometimes called the first fundamental theorem of calculus, states that one of the antiderivatives, also called indefinite integral, say f, of some function f may be obtained as the integral of f with a variable bound of integration. 
This implies the existence of antiderivatives for continuous functions. Conversely, the second part of the theorem, sometimes called the second fundamental theorem of calculus, states that the integral of a function f over some interval can be computed by using any one, say f, of its infinitely many antiderivatives. This part of the theorem has key practical applications, because explicitly finding the antiderivative of a function by symbolic integration avoids numerical integration to compute integrals. This provides generally a better numerical accuracy. Topic G. General Leibniz rule. Global maximum. Global minimum. Golden spiral. Gradient. Topic H. Harmonic progression In mathematics, a harmonic progression or harmonic sequence is a progression formed by taking the reciprocals of an arithmetic progression. It is a sequence of the form 1 a 1 a plus d 1 a plus 2 d 1 a plus three D one A plus K D Display style FRAC one a FRAC one A and D FRAC one A plus two D FRAC one A plus three D C D O T S FRAC one A plus K D where minus a, d is not a natural number and k is a natural number. Equivalently, a sequence is a harmonic progression when each term is the harmonic mean of the neighboring terms. It is not possible for a harmonic progression other than the trivial case where a topic 1 and k 0 to sum to an integer. The reason is that, necessarily, at least one denominator of the progression will be divisible by a prime number that does not divide any other denominator. Higher derivative. Homogeneous linear differential equation. Hyperbolic function. Topic I. Identity function Imaginary number Implicit function Improper fraction Improper integral Inflection point, a point at which a plane curves concavity changes Instantaneous rate of change Instantaneous velocity Integral Integral symbol Integrand, the function to be integrated in an integral Integration by parts Integration by substitution Intermediate value theorem Inverse trigonometric functions Topic J Jump discontinuity Topic K Topic L Law of cosines Law of sines Lebesgue integration L'Hopital's rule Limit comparison test Limit of a function Limits of integration Linear combination Linear equation Linear system List of integrals Logarithm Logarithmic differentiation Lower bound Topic M Mean value theorem Monotonic function Multiple integral 
multiplicative calculus multivariable calculus topic n Natural logarithm, the natural logarithm of a number is its logarithm to the base of the mathematical constant e, where e is an irrational and transcendental number approximately equal to 2.718281828459. The natural logarithm of x is generally written as ln x, log x, or sometimes, if the base e is implicit, simply log x. Parentheses are sometimes added for clarity, giving ln x, log x or log x. This is done in particular when the argument to the logarithm is not a single symbol, to prevent ambiguity. Non-Newtonian calculus Non-standard calculus Notation for differentiation Numerical integration Topic O One-sided limit Ordinary differential equation Topic P Pappus's centroid theorem Parabola Paraboloid Partial derivative Partial differential equation Partial fraction decomposition Particular solution Piecewise defined function, a function defined by multiple sub-functions that apply to certain intervals of the function's domain Position vector Power rule Product integral Product rule Proper fraction Proper rational function Pythagorean theorem Pythagorean trigonometric identity Topic Q Quadratic function Quadratic polynomial Quotient rule, a formula for finding the derivative of a function that is the ratio of two functions. Topic R Radian Ratio test Reciprocal function Reciprocal rule Riemann integral Related rates Removable discontinuity Rolle's theorem Root test Topic S Scalar Secant line Second degree polynomial Second derivative Second derivative test Second order differential equation Series Shell integration Simpson's rule Sine Sine wave Slope field Squeeze theorem Some rule in differentiation Some rule in integration Summation Supplementary angle Surface area System of linear equations Topic. T Table of integrals Taylor series Taylor's theorem Tangent Third degree polynomial Third derivative Toroid Total differential Trigonometric functions Trigonometric identities Trigonometric integral Trigonometric substitution Trigonometry Triple integral Topic U Upper bound Topic V Variable Vector Vector calculus Topic W 
Washer Washer method Topic X Topic Y Topic Z Zero vector Topic See also Calculus Outline of calculus Glossary of areas of mathematics Glossary of astronomy Glossary of biology Glossary of botany Glossary of chemistry Glossary of ecology Glossary of engineering Glossary of physics Glossary of probability and statistics <laughs>